Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. I have a really great video for you, so let's jump right into it. DIY number one. I have this soup can, tomato paste, and some vegetables. So I'm taking this red clay, snowbank, and ocean tavern uh, terracotta paint from folk art, I believe. <laughs> and um, I love this paint and I love these colors, especially for my patriotic uh, decor. So I am going to take those three cans and I am going to use the red, white, and blue on all three, but I am going to kind of rearrange the um, colors. The, the stripes. You'll see what I mean in just a minute here. I'm not going to make you watch me paint all of them. I just wanted to show you. So on that first one, I did the bottom of the can. This one, I'm doing the top with the white. And then the third one, I'm going to do the stripe in the center of the can. Once those are dry, for this can, I took the blue and made a small stripe between the red and the white. And now I'm taking the white in between the red and the blue. Now for this next can, I am taking, yes, I'm taking a glue stick. <laughs> it's all I could find. And I am making some polka dots. And then on this third can, I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to just make some squiggly lines on them. Now, I lost the footage. I don't know where it went, but I did hot glue all three of these cans together. And now I'm taking some of this thick um, jute cording that I get off of Amazon. It's in my storefront in my description box if you're interested. And I just cut off three lengths and I am going to hot glue them to the top, what is now the top of the cans. And now I'm taking this blue and um, natural color twine and I'm going to wrap it around all three of the cans. And then I'm gonna tie a cute little bow on the front. Once I have that tied, I'm just going to tack the tails down so that they, cause they're, they kept kind of like popping upward, like towards the bow itself. So I just wanted to tack them down. Um, and that's it for this one. I think it came out super duper cute. Um, not bad for some, you know, aluminum cans, right? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this. So this video is part of the Craft Your Trash playlist. It is hosted by So Kate, and she asked me if I would co-host, and I love her so much, I could not say no. So I will have Kate's uh, link as well as the playlist in my description box down below. So once you're done with my video, Go on down there and check everybody else out. Okay, back to the DIYs. DIY number two. I have another can. This one was a crushed tomato can. <laughs> Not that it matters, but. Um, so I am going to use the same three colors and I am going to paint this can with the red, white, and blue. So while the paint is drying on the cans, I bought these 
from Amazon. How adorable are these, you guys? They're in my storefront. Um, I There's four, three or four of each of these designs in the package. And it wasn't that much money. Like, I don't know, maybe less than $15 if I remember correctly. But I love these. I think they're so gorgeous. So... I wanted to show you all of them and I have so now I'm trying to just pick out which um, which shape which picture um, I want to use for this particular can and after eliminating um, some of them <laughs> all of them but one um, I decided to go with this um, firecracker so I'm taking some of the red and natural twine again from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just wrap it around the can in the center on the white part and then I am going to tie this little firecracker with the number four behind it um, to the front of the can Now, once I got it tied um, in the front, I'm just tacking it down so it doesn't get broken or flop around. And that's it for this one. I stuck some of those little, I don't know, they call them berries, I think, um, but they look like little thistles or whatever, but they're red, white, and blue. So there you go. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this one. <laughs> So I wanted to let you all know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you're interested in supporting my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social medias and say hi. I would love to hear from you all. DIY number three. I have this jar that had some marinara sauce in it. And once I took off the labels and all of the goo, I used the goo gone. Um, now I have these napkins I got from Hobby Lobby. I think they're gorgeous, you guys. Um, and then I have some water and a paintbrush and I'm just going around wetting the areas that I want to tear off. And then I just start ripping these little images off the napkin. And then once they're all separated, I am going to separate the back part of the napkin from the front part. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm just going to Mod Podge a few of these images all around this glass jar. Once I've got the jar covered how I want it, I just put it aside and let it dry. And now it's dry. And now I'm taking some more Mod Podge. And I saw um, Brandy from the DIY Struggle and also Brenda from Rustic and Lace do this. You just take your Mod Podge and you take your finger and you kind of make a circular motion. And it makes the um, glass almost look frosted. So I did that and I let it dry completely. And now I'm taking the red and the blue um, twine and I just wrapped it around the neck quite a few times. And now I'm just going to tie a little bow on the front of this jar. Look at us now. 
and I just cut the tails. And now I have these fairy lights. They're from a company called On For You. They sent me some, but I ended up buying more because I love them so much. So they are in my Amazon store. Um, and they come with the battery, like everything you need. So you just push it all in the jar and turn them on. And look at how pretty this is, you guys. Oh my God, I think it's so adorable. I love it. And I love the fact that the lights are blue. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this one. So I want to thank Kate for asking me to co-host in this playlist. I had so much fun making these projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube and lets them know you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.